What's going on guys? Billy here with Billy Schultz Music, bringing you the easiest guitar tutorials on YouTube, and today we're learning how to play Feeling Whitney by Post Malone. Before we jump into the video, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and make sure you click the little notification bell next to it, that way you never miss a new tutorial. Also, I'm giving away a free, brand new acoustic guitar along with a bunch of other guitar-related prizes and accessories, so stick around to the end of the video, I'll get into all the details on how you can enter to win, but for now, let's jump into it, this is how you play the song. Okay guys, so for this song, you are in standard tuning. There's a few chords you need to know. If you need the diagrams for these chords, they will be in the free ebook that's in the description below. It's called Master the Guitar in Seven Days. It will have all these chord diagrams if you need to look at them further. It's also got a lot of really other useful information in there for you guys. It's always free. So once you get done with the video, go check that out and pick it up if you want to. Your first chord is gonna be a C major. You're going zero, three, two, zero, one, zero. Then you're going A minor, it's 0, 0, 2, 2, 1, 0. Then you're going F major, the, uh, it's 1, 3, 3, 2, 1, open, technically, uh, because the way you want to play it is you want to put your thumb on that first fret, and then um, the rest of it's going to look kind of like a C chord with your pinky finger on the third fret on the D string. Uh, this is the easiest way to play this chord for the song with the finger picking. Your final chord is going to be a G. Um, the way that your easiest way to play it for this song is just going to be ring finger on the third fret on the low E and then pinky finger on the third fret on the high E. Those are going to be the only two strings that you really need. Now the picking pattern for this song is going to be the same throughout the entire song. It's going to be thumb, ring finger, thumb, middle finger where your thumb is gonna alternate um, between the A string and the low E string, depending on what chord you're playing. Your pinky, or your ring finger is gonna always pick your B string, and your, ring, your middle finger is gonna always pick your G string. So ring finger, always B string, middle finger, always G string. Your thumb, depending on what chord you're playing, is gonna either be A or low E. And remember, it's just gonna be thumb, ring, thumb, middle, thumb, ring, thumb, middle. Now the structure to this song is just gonna be verse, chorus, verse, chorus. Um, the intro and, and all that stuff, I, I kinda just loop into the verse because it's all the, it's the same uh, chord progression. So verse, chorus, verse, chorus. The chord progression for the verse is gonna be C, and then A minor and then F, and then back to C. And now with that picking pattern, you're gonna be on the A string with your thumb, and remember it's A, B, A, G. So A, B, A, G. So ring finger on your B string, this one right down here, middle finger on your G string, right there, thumb on the A string, a, B, A, G, A, B, A, G. Now for the majority of the chords, you're gonna be picking them for four counts of four, which is gonna look like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So again, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. So you're picking on like a one and two and 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 one and two and. And if you need to play that slowly, it's gonna be a little difficult for some of you guys who aren't really used to finger picking at first. Slow it down. Keep practicing it over and over again. Just think one and two and one and two and one and two and. And then as you get better at it, you can try to start speeding it up. Now once you get the picking pattern down, it's all about just um, playing it through with the chords. So C is that first chord, A minor, and you're picking the same exact strings. Thumb is still picking that A string. Ring finger is still picking the B string. Middle finger is still picking the G string. And it's another eight counts. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. Then you're going to that F chord. This is where your thumb is going to go to the low E. Ring finger still picking the B string. Middle finger still picking the G string. Another eight counts. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. 
Then you're going back to C, another eight count, same way, thumb goes back to the A string, ring finger B string, middle finger G string. Another eight counts. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. Now keep in mind that the intro to the song is just the C chord being played, and it is going to be another four counts of four on top of the four counts of four that the verse starts. So just think of it as when you're starting the song, you're playing your C for eight counts of four, and then after that is the first count of four is technically like the intro, then your second count of four is going to be the start of your verse. So think eight counts on the C chord to start and then everything else is the same. So that intro into the um, first verse looks like this. Change. Now, right before you jump into the chorus, there is a, um, a little dissonance note that's played on your C chord. And the, what that looks like is so at the very end of your last, uh, of the last pro progression of your chords, right before you go into the chorus, you're on that C chord. Because, you know, we can start with C, then we go A minor, then we go F, then back to C. Now think of these counts as you're doing four counts of four for each one, right? So your first count, your first two counts of four are gonna be the same. So one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Then add your pinky on the third fret on your G string and pick the same exact strings with your fingers. Just add that pinky there for another for your last two counts of four. So that whole, that all four counts look like this. So one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Now once you have the verse down, we're gonna jump into the chorus. It's gonna be F, C, F, C, G. You're picking the you're picking the chords the exact same way. You're gonna pick them the exact same way you were in the verse, but that G is gonna play. It's almost similar to the pickup or to the C chord going into the chorus. You have a two count of picking your E with your thumb, your low E with your thumb, and then you're picking your high E string on the third fret with your ring finger and then your B string is now being picked with your middle finger. That's only for this G chord at the very end. So let me show you what the entire chorus looks like and then I'll explain how that G chord works at the end. So one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, switch. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. Switch back to F. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. Switch back to C. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. And you're only playing that one two counts of four. Then you're going to your G chord. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. And then you're picking your, take your pinky off of the third fret on the high E string and then put your index finger on the first fret on the high E string and pick those for two counts of four as well. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Then he kind of lets it ring out and then the verse starts all over again. So remember, for the G chord, you're picking low E with your thumb, then your ring finger is going to be picking the high E, and then your middle your middle finger is now picking that B. And it's the same picking pattern. It's thumb, uh, ring, thumb, middle, thumb, ring, thumb, middle. So it's going to look like one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, then off with the pinky, on with the first uh, index finger on the first fret on the high E, 
One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. And he might play that another another count of four or two. Um, he kind of just like stops a little bit in the middle and just lets it ring out. Let me play the entire chorus for you so you can see how it looks. So it's starting on your F for four counts of four. Looks like this. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. To C for four counts. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. Back to F. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. Back to C for two counts of four. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. And then to G for two counts of the regular, the regular formation here. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. And then put that index finger on the first fret of the E string. Take your pinky off for another two counts of four. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. And I want to say that's actually, um, it's six counts, it's going to be six total counts of four on your G. The first two are the regular with uh, your ring finger on the third fret and your pinky finger on the third fret. And then the then you're doing four with your ring finger on the third fret and your index finger on the first fret of the E string. So just to have a cohesive understanding of all the counts for the entire song, it's going to be um, intro for your C chord is going to play for four counts of four by itself then you're starting the verse right after that and you stay on the C chord for four counts of four again and then you're playing through the rest of the chords, your A minor, F, and C, all four counts of four each. So to begin the song, you got eight counts on your C, four counts on your A, A minor, four counts on your F, four counts on your C, and then the verse starts back, the verse just continues um, with each chord getting four counts of four Right before you jump into the chorus, you've got two counts of four on your C, and then you got two counts of four with your pinky finger on the third fret on the G string. Then you jump into the chorus, you've got uh, four counts of four on your F, four counts of four on your C, four counts of four on your F, two counts of four on your C, six counts of four on your G, but the first two, two counts of four are gonna be this G chord, and then the, the second, the last four counts of four it's going to be with your pinky finger on your index finger on that first fret on your low e, on your high e string so i'm going to play through the verse and the chorus just one full time so you can really see um what it looks like i'll play the verse uh as it's going into the chorus that way you can see the little transition chord there and you can kind of get an idea of how all the chords work together so it looks like this And it starts over with a verse. Now I know that this is going to be confusing. It's very hard to explain, especially in a way where I'm not going to get a copyright strike by just singing along with the song. If you have any questions, please post those in the comment section below. Um, I will be helping all you guys out with the song. I'll be trying to help you learn it um, as easily as possible. So like I said, if you have questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, leave them in the comment section below or send me an email. My email's in the description um, if you need any further assistance on how to play this song. There you have it, guys. That's all there is to it. Keep practicing. You will have this song down in no time. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm giving away a free brand new acoustic guitar along with a bunch of other guitar related prizes and accessories. All you gotta do to enter is subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, like this video, and then leave a comment down below with a song that you would like me to teach you on guitar. Now the way it's gonna work is each month I'm picking two winners. One is gonna 
win a guitar accessories kit that comes with a capo, guitar strap, guitar picks. Everything that you need as a beginner, intermediate, or advanced player will be in that kit. The second place winner is going to win a free merch bundle from the channel. And then when the channel hits 50,000 subscribers, I'll be picking one of you guys to win that free brand new acoustic guitar. So again, all that you have to do to enter is subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, leave a like on this video, and leave a comment down below with the song that you guys want me to teach you on guitar. Again, I can't thank you guys enough. Your support has been incredible, and I, I, I can't explain how much it really means to me. So thank you guys so much for all the support. Um, I, I really enjoy helping you guys learn these songs that you want to play on the guitar. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave those in the comment section below. I will have the rules to the giveaway in the description below, along with a free ebook that will always still be there. It's called Master the Guitar in Seven Days. Always free. It'll always be in the description along with any tabs that might be for the video. Um, so again, if you need anything, have any questions, my personal email address is in the description below or leave your questions in the comment section. We'll see you guys in the next video.